Welcome back mga kamatlets. It's me again, Teacher Robert. In our previous video, we discussed about on how to solve quadratic equation using different methods such as uh, extracting square roots, the factoring, the completing the square, and using the quadratic formula. Now, our topic in this video is all about the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. Now, in this video, you will learn how to characterize the roots of a quadratic equation using a discriminant. Now, please watch the video until its end. This is for your own good. Please don't skip. Okay? Let's start. The nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. The nature of the roots of quadratic equation can be described using the discriminant. Now, what is this discriminant? Now, discriminant is the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac. Now, these are the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation uh, based on the value of our discriminant. Now, here, if the value of our discriminant is equal to 0, so when you say 0, kung, kung ang atong mga discriminant mahimong 0, then the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation could be real, rational, and equal. Now, what is the indication of this? Uh, by the way, this nature of uh, discriminant. No? By solving this discriminant, or what we call the discriminant, by solving this one, we can, we have, uh, naanatay unang, or pasi unang uh, hint ba, na kanang root sa atong quadratic equation, Mao is the nature. For example, kung ang atong discriminant mahimong 0 equal to 0 after we solve for the discriminant of our quadratic equation. Now, doon na natin hint na ang nature sa atong roots, the roots of our quadratic equation could be real and rational and equal. But pasabot o equal, we all know that the quadratic equation has a uh, maximum of two roots. Ang quadratic equation nato is two roots do that. Di ba? Um, mag-solve tayo using, quadra, uh, using those methods, using those different methods, ang magawas na value or the roots do ha dun. Now, there are some cases that the roots are equal. But pasabot, equal si Jack. So, isa ra si Jack. Quintada. Isa ra ang root. O ha? Isa ra siya ang root. But, we have mga two ha equal sila equal sila mo nang usara ang atong treatment no? so equal now if the value mo na si sa discriminant now if the value of our discriminant is greater than 0 and it is a perfect square when you say perfect square uh, when you say perfect square unsa man pasabot og perfect square those are the perfect what are the perfect square number we have 1 4 9 what else 16, 25, what else, 36, 49, 64, no? Now, you can find, the, you can find the, the perfect square number by adding the odd, adding the odd, odd, add the odd numbers. By adding the odd numbers, you can find the, uh, the perfect square number, no? For example, the odd is 1. Then what's the next odd numbers? We have 3. Bungkig ba nga number? Babungkig. Pasabot 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Imong i-add na siya. Ang resulta is a perfect square number. For example, 1. I-add mo 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. So 4 is a perfect square number. Then, eh, mo add na po ka og 5. Kaya next to 3 is 5. So 4 plus 5 is 9. So, by just adding the odd, you can easily find the perfect square number. These are the perfect square. Ang perfect square number ba na square root? Baga. 
uh, whole number, ang isang square root is a whole number. Uh -huh. Now, if that's the case, if that's the value of our discriminant, that our discriminant is greater than zero, when you say greater than zero, these are the positive numbers and the perfect square number. The nature could be real, rational, and unequal. So, unequal, but sa both, do ha siya, pero dili pariho. So, we'll uh, show that one in our examples. Now, we have B squared. If our discriminant, we have B squared minus 4 EC is greater than 0, but not a perfect square number. So, dili is the perfect square number. Huh? The, the nature are real, irrational, and unequal. Real, irrational, and unequal. The difference is, ang kung perfect square number is rational. When you say, ang isa, irrational. No? Irrational. Now, next is, if the value of our discriminant or b squared minus 4 EC is less than 0. When you say less than 0, negative. Negative. So, negative, when you say if our discriminant is negative, the, the roots are not real. The nature of the roots are not real. Or imaginary. Imaginary roots. Or imaginary numbers. Now, nga nung nakaingon man tao, maingon ka o negative numbers, positive perfect square. Now, have you noticed that our expression b squared minus 4 ec, kung muad to ta sa, balik ta sa mga methods, we can find this expression nga naa sa quadratic formula. No? Naa sa quadratic formula. Ang quadratic, uh, siya sa quadratic formula, naa siya sa uh, x squared or the x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 ec. It is inside the radical sign. Inside the radical sign. Naa siya sulod sa radical sign ang kininga expression. Maunang, mumater jod kung mo value siya o 0, mo value siya o perfect square, mo value siya o uh, positive numbers but not a perfect square, mo matter dyan o not a perfect square number or are not or negative numbers. Now, let's see if, uh, examples of when our discriminant is greater or equal to 0. Equal to 0. Now, we have described the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. So, we are going to describe the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Now, no need to solve that one because if we are going to describe the roots, we are going to find its nature. Buto sa but nature. So, by just finding the nature, we need to ato rang kuhaon si discriminant. Now, we will solve for the value of our discriminant. Now, as I've said, our discriminant will be b squared minus 4 ec. Ang kanang expression. Kini nga expression. b squared minus 4 ec. That serve our discriminant. Now, we have our equation x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. Just like solving it uh, atong sa quadratic formula, we cannot solve or we cannot find the value of our discriminant if our quadratic equation is not in uh, standard form. Na naman, di ba, ang atong expression consists of uh, variables or we have we have letter A, B, C coefficient, we have A, B, C coefficient A, B, and C. Now, at first thing to do is atong unahon pag determine ang value ni A, B, and C. Now, as I've said in our previous video, you cannot uh, easily determine the the value of our A, B, C unless our quadratic equation is in a standard form. Now, in our given example, our our given quadratic equation is already in quadrat uh, in standard form. I mean, no? Now. First is we're going to determine the value of A, B, and C. We have A is equal to 1, B is equal to 4, and C is equal to 4. No? Now, by substituting it to our uh, expression, we have B squared minus 4 EC. So, we have 4 
squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. Now, by simplifying it, we have our, our quadratic equation or our discriminant is equal to 0. Or b squared minus 4 is is equal to 0. Uh, this among kanya 16. This is 4 squared. No? This, kining isa ka 16. This is negative 4 times 1 times 4. This is negative 16. That makes 0. So our discriminant is 0. Since the value of our discriminant or b squared minus 4 is is 0, then we can say that the nature of the root of quadratic equation x squared plus 4, x plus 4 is equal to 0 are real, rational, and equal. Now, we can check this one using quadratic formula. Now, we can check those if our finding is correct. By checking our, uh, checking our quadratic equation using quadratic formula. Now, kung, kung, kung ang atong roots, tinuod ba nga real? Tinuod ba nga real? Tinuod ba nga uh, rational? Tinuod ba nga equal sila. No? Now, we will check this one using quadratic formula. Uh, this is for the, uh, for the benefits of the doubt. Raka, no? Kuhan rakan sa dyan. Uh, atong i-check kung, kung correct ba ang atong, atong answer sa atong solution sa atong example. I-check na ito. Tanaw na to. But in your solution, no need to check uh, ato rin ipakita para sure dun ta. Now we have So as I've said a while ago If you observe Kini nga portion Mao ni siya ato discriminant Diba? Mao ni siya ato discriminant So it is inside the radical sign In our quadratic formula Nasa dyan sa sulod sa quadratic or Nasa dyan sulod sa radical sign Sa atong quadratic formula Now we have, uh, that is the discriminant. Now, we have to check. So, check na to using quadratic formula. So, that's it. So, by simplifying it, by substituting the value of A, B, and C, we have, tanawa, na zero ang atong sulod sa radical sign. That is our discriminant. So, pwede na mo so dari adapit ng portion pag okay, check Okay, discriminant mana is is solved. Okay, ah, okay. We have the value of x is 2. So, pariho 2 ang resulta. So, that's why uh, our answer in our example is correct. That the roots of our quadratic equation is real, rational, and equal. Equal sila. Real, tinuod ba? Yes, tinuod siya. Rational, yes, rational. Equal, yes, equal. Okay, so let's proceed to example number two. Example number two is all about, uh, it shows uh, the, the second value of our discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ec is greater than zero, and it's a perfect square. Perfect square. No? So for example, we have determined the nature of the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to Zero. Now, so the solution, as I've said, we are going to uh, determine the value of A, B, and C. Then substitute it to our expression. We have B squared minus 4AC. We have, so by just substituting it to our uh, expression, B squared minus 4AC. So substitute the value of B, which is 7. And substitute the value of A, which is 1, and C, is, which is 10. So, by simplifying it, so 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10, so that is 49 minus 40. So, 49 minus 40 is 9. So, the value of our discriminant, or the value of our discriminant is 9. So, 9 is a perfect square. Koha? So, 9 is a perfect square number. So, since the value of our discriminant is greater than 0 and it is a perfect square, so greater than 0, when you say greater than 0, it is uh, positive numbers. Now, positive numbers are greater than 0. Now, we have 
And 9 is a perfect square number. Now, so since our discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square number, then we can say that the nature of the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0 are real, rational, and unequal. So, tinood, rational, tapos, dili pariho. Okay, unequal man, dili equal. Subot pa sabot, ang uh, value sa or atong x, dili pariho. Okay. So, again, we will check using the quadratic formula. So, ato edit sorakan o substitute si discriminant sa atong quadrat sa expression inside the radical sign. So, which is x is equal to negative 7 plus square root of 9. And then, a picas, negative 7 minus square root of 9. Nga na, bila na, kay plus minus, di ba? Plus minus, di ba? So, the result is x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 5. They are real. Then they are rational. And they are, they are not equal or unequal. Okay. Unequal sila. Okay. For example, number 3. Example number 3 is all about the value of our discriminant is greater than 0. And it is not a perfect square. It is not a perfect square. So, this is the perfect square number. So, example number 3, we are going to describe the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0. Now, again, we are going to determine the value of a, b, and c, but make sure that our quadratic equation is in standard form before you identify the value of a, b, and c. Now, our value in our quadratic equation, our a is 1, our b is 6, and c is 3. Now, we have, by substituting it to our expression, that our discriminant, we have b squared minus 4 is c, the value of b is 6. So, that is 6 squared minus 4 times the value of a, which is 1, times the value of c, which is 3. So, that is 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. So, that makes 36 minus 12. Uh, where did you get 36? That is 6 squared, 6 times 6. Then, where did you get negative 12? That is negative 4 times 1 times 3. That makes negative 12. So, 36 minus 12 is 24. Now, take note, 24 is not a perfect square number. Because a perfect square number is 25. No? 25. Ang gisunda ni 25 na perfect square number is 16. So, from 17 to 24, they are not perfect square number. So, 24 is not a perfect square number. Then is a perfect square. Now, the discriminant, so since the value of our discriminant is greater than 0, but not a perfect square number, then is the perfect square number. Then we can say that the nature of the roots of our quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0 are real, ra irrational, and unequal. What do you mean by irrational? So we will check, we will show you what are these irrational. Okay, we have, let's check using quadratic formula again. So we have that, that steps, we, have, we are going to determine the value of a, b, and c because we are going to substitute it to our quadratic formula. So, ang atong quadratic formula, as you observe, the substitute ralago si discriminant sa inside the radical sign. As I've said, si discriminant is the expression si jama utong na sa sulod sa radical sign sa atong quadratic formula. So, pwede rin na ito i-substitute ralago. So, kay 24 man ang atong discriminant, so, i-substitute ra ka na ito largo si 24 sa sulod. So, we will make uh, negative 6 because that is negative uh, B. So, we have the value of B is 6. So, we have negative 6 plus 24 and isa negative 6 minus 24 because that is plus minus square root of 24 over 2. That is uh, 2A which is 2 times 1 which is 2. 
that makes our expression 24 if we're going to simplify that one that is 2 square root of 6 2 square root of 6 and then there we have negative uh, 2 square root of 6 so by simplifying it the the value the resulting value of x is negative 3 plus square root of 6 this amana you divide that to simplify okay, negative 6 divide 2 then 2 divide 2 that is 1 diba si 6 dili pwede kay radical sign man only kanang sa gawas atong na simplify okay ing ani ang puruma sa kanang mga irrational kanang na ay mga radical sign mga square root i mean mga square root nga ang sulod kanang dili siya makuha og uh, dili siya perfect square dili siya perfect square ang sulod so mao na irrational so as i said as you observe the value of x ang value sa atong x dire ino o siya real i will show you the difference between real and not real so Real si ja. Real, then irrational. Kaya na ang may radical sign na bilin. Dadili man na ito masimplify si 6. Pag solve na ito, pwede na ito na gamit ang calcule, pero ang resultaan is na yung mga point, 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 ana. Diba? Uh, we have <coughs> uh, irrational, then unequal. Unequal din sila pareho. Kaya kanin isa plus square root of 6. Kaya kanin minus square root of 6. Okay? So, tinuod na nga itong answer dito sa example number 3. Now, the last uh, example is b squared minus 4 is, is less than 0. Less than 0. So, this is when you say less than 0 is negative. When our discriminant is negative numbers. So, when our discriminant, when the value of our discriminant is negative so these are uh, the uh, mga circumstances, uh, mga consequences. We have determined the nature of the root of quadratic equation x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Now, we have, again, we are going to determine or make sure that our quadratic equation is in the standard form before we are going to determine the value of a, b, and c. Now, in our quadratic equation, our value, the value of A is 1, the value of B is 2, and the value of C is, neg uh, is 5, I mean. Then we are going to substitute it to our expression B squared minus 4 EC. Then the value of B is 2. So that is 2 squared minus 4 times the value of A is 1 the value uh, times the value of C, which is 5. Then 2 squared is 4. Then, negative 4 times 1 times 5 is negative 20. So, that makes 4 times, or 4 minus 20. So, 4 minus 20 is negative 16. So, negative 16 is a negative number. So, ha? Negative number. So, since the value of our discriminant is less than 0, then we can say that the nature of the root of quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 are not real. Delete the number. Now, let me show you the, uh, what is this not real uh, or imaginary numbers? Okay, we will check this using quadratic formula. I will show you the roots. The roots are not real. Okay. okay. Ini. Diba? As I've said, the discriminant is the expression inside the radical sign of our quadratic formula. Now, we are going to substitute the value of our discriminant. Negative 16 sa sulod. Now, as I've said in our previous video, there's no such square root of negative numbers. Square root of negative numbers is an imaginary number. So, naay mo man siya. Square, negative ba na nga itong number nga nasa sulod sa itong square root for the radical sign? So, automatically, it will consider as Imaginary numbers. Imaginary. The roots are imaginary. So, the square root, again, the square root of negative numbers is imaginary. Or not real. So, automatic, not real. Yan yan, not real. And the square root of negative, the square root of negative. Okay, kuha. Okay, that's
we have the activity 3. Activity 3. So, this is the third activity you are going to answer. So, the gun rabay wa nag-answer sa activity 1 and activity 2. Na? So, kung wa pa mo nag-answer, pag-answer mo, then submit it to me because I will check that one. Now, this is required. As I've said, no need or it is not necessary to answer your module. Delete na. I don't know itong module. May answer key. No? So, delete na. So, no need to answer. Delete. So, raman mo kung yung answer key. No? Kinira activity. Required. Dali pa. Gamay ra. Ha? Gamay ra yung siran. Patra. Di ba? Again, the instruction is this one. Kindly follow the instruction. Para dili ta mag, hmm, mag uh, problema. You have to write your answer in a one whole sheet of paper. Okay, good. One whole. It could be a loop pad. Uh, it could be band paper. Ay, ano whole good. Wak man ko nag na na intermediate. Wala man. Diba? One whole sheet of paper. It could be band paper. It could be, uh, basta kay one whole. Bahala mo na la paper. Pa na one whole. Diba? Then, avoid any erasure. Kana, Jod, ahong ipangita. Avoid any erasure. Dili, Jod. Kaya, huwag na yung erasure. Ah, wrong. Automatic. Any form of it will automatically consider your answer as wrong. Di sa pag, butang nga correction tip. Erasure naman na. I-erase ni mo ang imong previous answer. Gipulihan, bago. Erasure naman na. So, limpio, Jod. Limpio. Kailangan na limpio. Kindly you show your solution. Please kindly show your solution. Dili kung mudawat anang rungan ng automatic ng answer ay butang. No? Show your solution. Eh, basit kinukiyara larong doon. Ayun na. No? Again, avoid any erasure. So, ang tip na ho, Ana, magkansa mo sa scratch then Kung final na, add to pa, Ana, paibalhin. Okay? So, then, mauna yung jansiran. Determine the nature of the roots of quadrat or the following quadratic equation using the discriminant. You are going to determine the nature of the roots. Nature using the discriminant. First thing to do is, you are going to find the value of discriminant. Then, after that, you are going to determine the nature. On sa itong nature, based on the value of our discriminant. No need to check. Ganina sa itong mga example, atong gicheck. No need to do that. Dito ra mo taman sa atong solution. Ko ha. Dito ra mo taman sa atong solution. No need to check. Okay. So these are the quadratic equation. x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Number 2, x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals 0. Then x squared plus 5x plus 10 equals 0. Then the last is 3x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Okay. So, thank you. So, thank you everyone. Thank you for watching until the end. Okay. okay. So, see you in our pre uh, next video. Have a great morning or have a great day. Keep safe always. Bye-bye.